Hello and welcome to Eurofish TV. News about fish, for fish, made by fish. Joining us tonight is the European Fisheries Commissioner and everyone's favorite mermaid, Maria Damanaki. Thanks so much for agreeing to speak with us, Mrs. Damanaki. Of course, of course. May I call you Maria? Yes. Maria Damanaki. These are dark days. The CFP monster ravages our seas, swallowing our children. Are we all doomed? Well, I had bad news, I'm afraid. If we are doing nothing, then after ten years, a lot of our fish will disappear from our seas. So that's why you have proposed reforms to the CFP. But can you save us from the monster? So, I think that we have a good proposal now, but we are not going to decide about it. The governments are going to decide, and the European Parliament. But the governments don't agree with us, all of them, not about all issues. So, you have to work with your own parliament, with your own government, in all the countries, in order to persuade your fisheries minister your government that they have to vote for this change. Maria, the monster is consuming lots and lots and lots of public money. Why don't you just stop them feeding it? But the problem is that uh, we have given the money to our fishermen, so they are used to it now. And in order to survive, in order to have uh, their boats and go fishing and for their families, they want this money. So what we are going to do is to keep the money and give it in a more smart way. So our fishermen will take only the fish they can sell from the sea. Hmm, that sounds good, but do the fishermen believe you? The most important thing in my proposal is the message, to give the message to our fishermen that they can fish less and earn more. This is what we want. But how can you do that if there are already too many of the big, big fishing boats? Well, um, in our coastal areas, we have a lot of fishermen with their small boats. These fishermen fish the fish in a better way, more friendly to the fish and the environment and to the nature and to everybody. So we have to protect this professional, traditional fishing. Yes, and we're going to be talking to the small fishermen later. But for a moment, can I ask you a more personal question? Yes? Maria, how do you feel about lobster? Well, I was in Ireland last month, and there we have eaten lobster. Oh. And it was very tasty. Oh. But uh, what is very important is to fish lobster only when we can fish it. So... The lobsters, the male, the male lobsters, mm -hmm. we can eat, but the female we have to keep in the sea in order to get reproduced. So now we are going to give uh, signs to our fishermen to put on the male and female lobsters, and we can catch only the lobster that can be eaten. Hey! So, to sum up, it's a question of persuading fishermen to catch less, but earn more. Mm, yes. Less and less fishing, earning and earning more from what we catch. And that's what the politicians need to support? Yes. Thank you, Maria Damanaki. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think I speak on behalf of all fish when I say... Good luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ben. And for reaction, we now go over to the UK to speak to Mr. Jeremy Percy, Chief Executive of Nutfar, the new under-10 Fishermen's Association. So, Mr. Percy, you've heard Maria Damanaki. What do you say to her comments? Well, I'm very glad to hear what the Commissioner has to say, although they need to back it up with real measures of, of, that will have an impact on the small-scale fleet in Europe. Mr Percy, there are a lot of little fishermen in the EU. 
don't they get their fair share already? Well, no, they don't. 80% of the European fleet is determined to be small scale. And from a United Kingdom perspective, for instance, where the percentages are much the same, we only have 4% of the quota allowed. So what happens to the other 96%? The other 96% go to the vessels which are large scale in the UK. I see. Many a Dabanaki seems to be making the right kind of noises. But will she be eaten up by the sharks and the bureaucrats in Brussels? That's really our main concern. I think the Commissioner is genuine in her recognition of the benefits of small-scale coastal fishing. But how far she will be able to get in actually providing them with the benefits they deserve is open to question. Mr. Percy, everyone seems to disagree about how to tame the monster that is the common fisheries policy. But Greens and small fishermen have now made a joint call for sustainable practices through Ocean 2012. How important is that alliance? It's absolutely vital. I think that the whole of the CFP, the Common Fishery Policy, has been dominated by large-scale interests, mainly because, to be fair, they're far better resourced and far better organised, or were, than small-scale interests. At the same time, environmental interests were were running uh, behind everything else with the Common Fishery Policy. The coalition of small-scale fishers and environmental interests promoting the benefits of low impact fishing where nobody loses where even big offshore interests if they follow these rules would not in the long term lose out is of major benefit to everybody concerned so what's the single most important change that needs to be made gosh we could be here all day talking about that but i suppose the most important one would be to change the reward structure where the current system rewards those who have the greatest impact to a system that rewards those who have the least impact on the marine environment and the fish stocks. And what can the viewers at home do to help? Well, it's been clear from the fish fight campaign that already three quarters of a million people have signed up in the UK to look at more sustainable or support more sustainable methods of fishing. And I think people need to keep the pressure up on their MPs, their MEPs, their political representatives to make sure that as the Commissioner promised in the first place, that this new CFP was going to be radical. Because I have to say, if we don't see radical change, then the continuing downward trend will only result in one conclusion. Mr. Percy, thanks so much for your time. Well, there you have it. The small fisherman's view. Good intentions from Dabanaki, but the sharks may get her. Absolutely vital for greens and small fishers to work together. And since recording that interview, we have heard that the CFP reform decision has been kicked into the long sea grass and may slide back from 2012 to 2013 or even 2014. So, hoping that the new Alliance for Sustainable Reform will last, we leave you tonight with Eurofish TV's very own Roll of Honor for all of those groups supporting the Ocean 2012 Statement.